We are following breaking news this morning. Richland police arrested the man who allegedly shot two people at a Richland Fred Meyer yesterday. So Crim 2's Nicole Hernandez is in the newsroom right now. So Nicole, can you tell us how police were able to find the man? Absolutely, Channing, Tim. So right now we're looking at a, a Facebook post here from the Richland, Washington Police Department. They posted just about five hours ago now explaining they arrested 39 year old Aaron Christopher Kelly. They did arrest him on I-90, but we really want to get straight to some reaction to this Facebook post here. So I want to take have you take a look at your screen here. We do have a couple of Facebook comments that we're going to pull up. They they have several uh, that are, you know, over 100 posts here online. It says I'm happy that he was caught and without incident. Thank you all law enforcement. Now that is really the main theme in all of these comments thanking law enforcement for catching this person. Now the shooting happened at just about 11 yesterday morning. Police say one person had died and one was hurt when they got there. We know the man who died is 38 year old Justin Crumba. The shooter talked with Crumba in the store before shooting and killing him. He then shot a Fred Meyer employee. First responders took that employee to the hospital. Last update from police said they are in critical condition. Our CBS affiliate in Tri-Cities talked to Fred Meyer employees after the shooting. I was helping someone with their groceries, um, putting them in their trunk when my boss and a bunch of people started running outside and saying, run, run, there's an active shooter. And we heard a couple pops thinking, okay, it might have been a couple of balloons popping somewhere. And then we heard another, another few and people running, saying shots fired, shots fired, ducking and running out the doors. So Fred Meyer tweeted out a statement yesterday after the shooting. You can see that here on your screen now. It says, quote, we are deeply saddened by the incident that occurred at our Fred Meyer. The entire Fred Meyer family offers our thoughts, prayers, and support. Now, the post also says the store will stay closed as police investigate and they will have counseling for their employees. Now, we'll be checking for updates all morning long here. We are waiting to hear back when Fred Meyer will open back up. In the newsroom, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News.